all right so because we want to create a cron why don't we create a command which we will use to run every minute and sync the data okay um let's just say we will do php artisan make command okay by the way pa is php artisan i have a shortcut for that which is a which pa right so alias to php artisan so pa make command um why don't we say sync time entries sync time entries it's here just remove those documentations a bit i don't need them it will be what sync entries this command will sync the new entries in the db with the google sheet okay so this is done uh, in the constructor i'm not going to do anything inside the handle is where we will have all the code just get rid of this okay um i'm thinking see our cron will let's say we will not pick up all the records we will pick uh we'll be picking n number of records and so our cron will look at an id okay what was the last id it synced then it will try to so let's just write down what are the steps it will check the last id that was synced okay it, it is going to be the primary key of this table once that is done if you know we will query to the database to check new entries if we find if we find new entries then we will enter entry to db if we have new entries otherwise we can just return true and you know say we are happy with what we have so now in to save this id right we will need a let's just say a variables table where i will store that okay this is something which i have seen in many cmss they have a variables table where they have a name and a value and they store all kinds of information in that you can see that in a wordpress uh cms you will have wp underscore i think settings and even in drupal you will see there's a variable stable and an api which allows you to read and write from it okay anyway so, so php artisan make model um i just need the migration for this i don't need a factory and let's just call it variable so i have a new model variable inside variable will have guarded as empty and create variable stable i just need a table string column which is going to be name and a text which is value i can store anything in here anything else no i don't think we need anything else php artisan migrate time entries already exist okay this is going to be a problem because i think what has happened is um damn this is, i i created this database when i was trying to you know generate this random data and at that point of time those migrations were already created i think what is going to happen is this is failing right because it is trying to create a table which is time entries but that's already present and this is happening because it will try to look at the migrations and search for those files if it doesn't find it it will try to run that right so if i <laughs> cheat it a bit i change the file name okay and migrate all right so this is done huh. i still have the data i have variables okay um name let's just say our name will be last id synced value is zero okay okay and 
I think now function should work in here as well. Okay, I'll use tinker. Variables, uh, variable create. And in here, I have name equals last synced ID value will be zero done okay thanks tinker for helping out with that um so this is done now what do we have we have variable um variables query where just a name is i'll just copy the variable which we just created last synced id and we pick up the first record and then dollar rows is equal to time entry query where id is let's just say greater than variable value order by id limit limited to 10 maybe you know just so that you know we are able to see that we are incrementing slowly i can't i won't set up a cron although on a server you can you know run this on a cron you know you can do it like inside the kernel you can run this uh, every minute but i'll run that manually so we query the rows if my rows count is let's say equal to equal to zero return true okay so we have nothing to process we just return true why is it it says missing return statement okay i'll give you that don't worry if we have not some data okay then we would want to insert that so for that let's first create a collection final data equals collect okay i'll create a new collection my last id is zero i need to um, basically save the last id from the database and the variables right so i'll i'll first initiate that to zero maybe i can also do it variable value but let's just stick to this then i do for each um, dollar rows as dollar row i could have done the collection each as well i mean both are kind of same why don't we do that actually dollar rows each function dollar row okay and in this okay i'll have to then use dollar last id I mean, for each and this will typically give you the same result so i'm not very worried about this i just used collection because okay i'll need to use that uh, as well so final data so i can do push so i typically use the collection to do that okay so what do we have we have first is the id right so dollar row id then we have name so sorry username right so username in our case will be row username it's project and then date and time okay so this is an array which we are creating and once this is done my last id will be equal to dollar row id write the entire loop finish and then we will do we need the google sheet service so we'll come over here we'll inject google sheet service as google sheet okay that's a little strange okay let's just stick to for each i don't know why this is showing in gray 
and it just makes me a little nervous so <laughs> use the convention unused local variable last id what okay okay just forget we will need to do google sheets save data and i do final data dot to array because we need to send an array right if you remember and then just say variable value is last id okay and do variable save okay and uh, data sheet data sorry sheet data why don't we return that in case when we need to process it somewhere what have we done let's just quickly recap we get a variable where the name of that variable is last synced id we get the first entry because we know that we will not allow duplicates okay in my migration i could have done a unique on this name this will ideally help because you know then you have a mysql level check that you know you can't have two uh, variables with i mean two variable rows with the same name okay so i get this variable then i use the value to do a row entry check okay if i find rows if i find yeah if if i find anything which is count more than 0 then basically i will process i will create this final array and i'll push it to my sheet so now as i told you if you want to run this as a cron thingy what you can do is um, i typically um, enter it here so sync entries class okay and what is the name of this command second sync entries i'll just copy from here and inside kernel and the schedule part of it i'll do schedule command this every minute but obviously i don't configure the crons on my laptop because you know it's dangerous <laughs> in case some project which i'm working i sometimes i do connect to the um, main servers and i don't want any cron to run on my machine which uh, affects the data so i i have kind of uh, stop that service manually just to be sure so i can't run cron but i can definitely run the command so let's just see i have this uh, just for the sake of it empty everything come over here php artisan this everything if everything is right i think we should expect some entries okay could not convert to int this is a little weird where did it fail it did add ta -ta -ta, convert to int okay i think what is happening is whatever i'm trying to send here is kind of not working so and i think i can try once more but let's first see what is the variables value now so it's 10 right so which means it will now try the next 10 so i'll come over here make an entry again i get rid of that error it now becomes 20 oops and we have 20 entries over here so you can see um i am able to through the api call add uh, multiple entries why don't we increase that a bit okay and process thousand maybe let's see whether it works we had around what 20 or 30 we had 20 and now what is my last entry okay i'll add a few rows so that we have enough rows to deal with and um, yeah now my sheet is getting a little heavy it has i think it has a lot of data so yeah so you can see um we are able to get that data into our google sheet why don't we query one and confirm that you know, randomly the things are correct 
So select star from time underscore entries. Okay. Um, where ID is 1000. So it says Andrew YouTube 14th August time is 8. Andrew YouTube 14th August time is 8. So yeah, I think we are generally in good shape. We are through our cron, we are entering multiple data into the Google Sheet. And now let's look at how we can use Data Studio to get the data from our Google Sheets into Data Studio and configure a few basic reports um, to work with. Okay.